Yo guys, Monkey here, welcome back to another video, another After Effects video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and render your After Effects projects 28 times faster. This is 100% legit guys, so without further ado, let's get into the actual video. So obviously you've got your project there, finished and waiting to get rendered. I've got this little intro that I'm doing for Pulsar YT. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and render this out for him just as an example It's just seven seconds long uh, and as you can see I've got something rendering already in Sony Vegas So this will affect the times I get but um, I've got a good enough PC so let's get into the actual video So once you've actually gone and got your project actually finished you want to go into composition And you want to go into add to render queue Now where it says render settings, you just want to click onto that and it should bring up this box and then you want to just keep it as it is. I'm using, uh, obviously mine was set to 30 frames per second so I'm just going to use the frame rate that is made for it. I'm going to change the time to 7 seconds because um, where it says that custom there and it's got the start and end time. I'm just changing that to 7 seconds because for some reason it's for 6 seconds. So I'm just going to change that to 7 seconds to make sure that it renders out the full intro and not miss any bits out. So I'm changing that to 7 seconds and I'm going to press OK. So I'm going to do it in both ways guys. I'm going to do it as the long way as you normally would do it and I'm going to show you the quicker way just to prove to you guys that it is 28 times faster. So obviously the normal way you set it to quick time and you change the format from animation to um, H.264 and then you keep the quality on 100 and you press OK so this is just me rendering it out as I normally would do and I'm just going to go ahead and compare the times with you guys so I'm just going to press on OK on that just to confirm them settings on the output module and now for the output I'm just going to put it into a folder name that folder Pulsar YT and I'm just going to change the name to test1 I'm going to save that and then I'm just going to go ahead and render that And I'm going to go ahead and see what time it takes for this one to go ahead and render. And then when it's finished rendering, we can go ahead and compare the times. So just a quick tip, guys. When you're going to render stuff on After Effects, if you press your caps lock and keep your caps lock enabled, it will stop the preview screen and it will save the actual RAM that would be using for your preview screen and just use that to render out the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that render out. And then we'll get back to the actual video once it's finished rendering. So guys, it's finished rendering and it will rendered in 5 minutes 32 seconds just to do a normal 7 second clip uh, with a couple of effects attached to it. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you the quicker way on how to go ahead and render this out. So exactly the same as you'd do before, go into composition and add that to your render queue. Go into your render settings, well let's leave it as it is, obviously I'm going to check it as 30 frames per second because it's 30 frames per second, I'm going to change the time again to 7 seconds because for some reason it's 6 seconds and I'm going to press OK. And then for the output module I'm changing it to JPEG sequence and I'm going to go to the format options and you should be prompted with a box like this. I'm going to put the quality to free and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. I'm going to leave everything else as it is, the size, uh, everything else as it is, and I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to go and put the output into that uh, Pulsar YT folder. So I'm going to create a new folder and put it as JPEG. And I'm going to go into that folder and put it as Test2. And now I'm just going to go ahead and render this out, guys, and show you how long it takes for this to get rendered out. Make sure you got your caps lock enabled to stop your preview screen from showing the video whilst it's rendering out. Just for it to render as quickly as possible and now let's render this out guys. As you can see guys it took 19 seconds compared to the 5 minute 32 which we did first. So that's a whopping 28 times faster than the original way of doing it. But now guys I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can go ahead and actually render this, these image sequences into an actual video. 
So you wanna go ahead and open up Premiere Pro if you have it. So you wanna go ahead and create a new project. So I'm gonna name this project Pulsar YT. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. In the bottom left hand corner where it says import media to start, I'm gonna right click onto that and I'm gonna go click import. Go ahead and find that folder which I named Pulsar YT. Go into the JPEG folder and you should see a load of images uh, from your uh, project. So as you can see, about all, it's just rendered out the project into loads of images. So click on the first one and you should see this little checkbox saying image sequence. Make sure that is checked and it will render it out into a video. But obviously, the video is just a second longer than what you rendered it out in After Effects. So just drag that into your timeline. Right click on the actual project and it should say speed slash duration. Click on that and just change the time to the time which you rendered it out in After Effects. So obviously mine was 7 seconds, so I'm changing mine to 7 seconds. Then I'm going to press OK and now it should render it out into the speed which I rendered it out in After Effects. And as you can see it all plays well and you wouldn't know that it rendered it out into an image sequence. You would think that it rendered it out straight up into a video. But once you've done that, you want to go over to File and you want to go over to Export then click media and now you want to go and change it to quicktime if it's not quicktime change the preset to ntsc dv widescreen 24p change your output name to the name you want to ch change your project now i'm just going to leave mine as it is test 200 just going to put the folder in which it is but the video codec to h.264 and then make sure you match the sequence with what it actually is when you rendered it out in after effects so i'm going to Click match sequence and it but it matches uh, the video quality to what it was when I rendered it out in After Effects. And then you want to go ahead and press export. And that will export the project really quickly into a video file. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe. If you're new, make sure you press that like button and subscribe and press notifications. And also guys, go ahead and enter my PlayStation 4 Pro giveaway. Link for that is down in the description below. And I will see you in the next video guys. Peace. Out. Models popping bottles. Hey.